Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in our last tutorial, uh, we connect our database with PHP and uh, fetch data uh, from while loop. So, in this tutorial, we are going to use uh, for loop instead of while loop. Okay, so many uh, our viewers and uh, even most of the developers are finding the stuff for stuff for for loop how they use for loop with the uh, mysql connection so let's see uh, how we can con uh, fetch data with for loop okay first of all i'm going to show once again the result of this program the result is jitend jitend and john and one two three these are the ids okay so now i'm going to comment this and the output will be nothing okay so let's start for loop we need a row this will start from okay uh, now not use row use uh, i because basically we are always using the i k z variable so i equal to 0 and i should be less than equal to dollar result result and num rows actually num rows property will give you the number of rows that is present in database and dollar i plus plus okay so now print r dollar result and fetch associate array uh, you should the mm, you should know the meaning of fetch associate that means the result will show in associative way of array okay guys so let's check the result now aha there is an error in line number 17 first of all we have to solve this okay so we are not putting i here now one more error in line number 20 that's why that's because of we didn't use semicolon here okay so yes now we get our result uh you can see the result in our associative way okay so make it solve it now in a simple way yes just, just, just. echo dollar and copy this mm -hmm. so the very simple way is take it in row and echo dollar row push name here now let's see yes we got all result but the more thing that is br tank just few yes we got all of the result and uh, uh, we have two ids also let's see dollar row and id now see we have to put a space between them then use this. 
okay now you can see the result of both are same that's i am giving a divider here the above result from for each sorry from for and the below result is from while loop and the result are same okay there is an tree this is the problem with me i always forget this semicolons okay uh i think i think i think okay so just remove for a second this and see the result now yes the result is here from below the format is there yes and and comment this but you can't see the result you can see only a one result at a time the reason is result variable uh, that is fetching data is able to show the result only once uh, may use may you can use uh, for each for loop or may use while loop but at a time only one loop only work okay. thanks guys thanks for watching if you have any confusion still you have any confusion then let me know by comment or let me know by email okay guys thanks thanks for watching and please subscribe our videos uh, channel and uh, like comment share thanks thanks guys.